The under-21s are in Premier League 2 action, so we'll probably see a few of the players as we're underway here in Kirby, walking past Josh Sonny Lambie, trying to force him back. That's tremendous play by Kareem Ahmed. Now, Liverpool have got options here. It's a tight angle. Went for the ball into Sonny Lambie. And that wasn't far away. It wasn't far away, yeah. Sonny held his run there before um, before darting across, looking for the post uh, cutback. You can see the ball starting off with a really nice press, trying to get after these lads. He's, he's gone direct. He's trying to bring a, a defender over. Sonny just holds his run here, as you can see, then darts across, unlucky to not get a touch. Lovely sweet turn again by Ahmed. And here's Clay Ewing in space. Great run from left back. Can he pull out the cross? Oh, it's behind. Ahmed. Oh, that's loose. Plays it straight to Barker. Might get a shot. And again, a good stop by Hall. Loose play by Liverpool. Background. Lovely again by Clay Ewing. Really positive this by him. Now, Schofield long many. Good run by Bradshaw. He's had his shirt pulled as well. Play on. Bradshaw, good stop. Ewing again. And just a lad signed from Berry as an under 12. Clay Ewing. Strong, good ball. Look at Schofield Lonmeni here. Good chance. And it's in. Schofield Lonmeni for the second game running. On the mark. Tremendous run by Clay Ewing. And Liverpool's excellent start is rewarded, Martin Kelly. Well, what a, what a goal initially. I don't know if it's took part deflection, but what a what a start of passage of play from Clay Ewing. He's, he's started the game really well. He's took it upon himself. You can tell he, he's, he's obviously played in midfield before. It's a great, great ball inside. I think Lomani just uses a defender to try and wrap the ball round, round the goalkeeper. Yeah, Deflected, slight, wasn't it? Slight deflection, yeah. Off uh, Finn Holcroft. But he'll, he'll claim that goal. It definitely, yeah. It was going on target, so it, will, it definitely is. But it, it's been Great run. Sonny Lambie. Lovely move this by Liverpool. Clay Ewing again. Great ball in and O'Connor did that at the woodwork. That was so close to a second. It was a great opportunity. We could still got it there. And Sunderland survived that one. That was so close. Yeah, it all starts again with Clay Ewing. His first Dale. Well, just been caught out. Now a gun side. One on one with Enohoro Marcus. A gun side. Chance here for Sunderland. Trey a gun side. So Bradshaw over this set piece. Good ball in, too. Oh, not very far away, leaning back there. Lucas Pip. Yeah. Moving on the end of that. What a, what a great ball in that was. Ahmed. Oh, beautiful pass. O'Connor. Shots on here. Oh, you're disappointed with that one. Yeah. On the Astro when it was first built. Tremendous, isn't it? Yeah. Left in corner. Ahmed actually got a back header on that. And the referee has given a penalty kick there, I think, for the challenge by, was it Kareem Ahmed, was it? Well, I have to see. The referee was right on the place there as the challenge did come in. And Sunderland, out of nowhere, have got a penalty kick, Martin Kelly. Yeah, I don't. I think it was a bit of uh, uh, from both sets of players, but I can't. A gun sight. Hall went the right way, but it's a good penalty, and Sunderland are level. Liverpool left frustrated. Yeah, definitely. So it's been all Liverpool first half. I think it was quite a soft penalty. I'd have to look at it back, but it was um, off the run against the run of play for Sunderland to get to get a, an equaliser. It's a good penalty. He's placed it well, hasn't he? Trey a gun sight. In the end there. After. Ahmed. Oh, lovely again. Brilliant by Ahmed. Bradshaw. Oh, Lomeni was in the box again. Sonny Lambie. Oh, it fell nicely, but a complete miss kick. Yeah, I thought we was going to see a wonder goal there, Steve, did you? It just fell. It just fell to him. Dinsdale. Dangerous good run by Dinsdale. Oh, he's going off target the moment it left his boot. Yeah, that's just the moment when you want to see your defenders just creep up to make that, that shot even harder. Mark has done that, to be fair to him. Initially let him come inside, he's just got to creep up a little, make that harder. There's a lot of bodies in the melee there, wasn't there? So. Yeah. Chance there. Oh, that's a big opportunity for Sunderland. 
James Barker completely free. Free in the six yard box. Yeah, we don't we don't like seeing this. That could be the last kick of the uh, the, the half as well. So he's you've got to pick up your man when it's going into the box. It's yeah, oh, there's no defender in sight. Here's Oliver O'Connor, but that will be half time here at the Kirby Academy. So overall, you've got to say that Liverpool have played very well against a pretty physical Sunderland side. An excellent opening goal. Schofield Lomeni, the 16-year-old player coach he is these days. He's not on the bench today because they've got some players available But as we get underway. But Barry was unsure whether he'd be in the first team squad to go to the Emirates for tomorrow. But good to have There's Anahoro Marcus. Oh, that's a really loose ball by Anahoro Marcus and Bailey Hall had to get out of his goal and stop Whitaker. But the now a gun side running at Fernell Gill. It's too deep. Yeah. He's overhit it there. The Ahmed. Lon Many's made another good run. Still Schofield Lon Many. Joe Upton. Can I get Bradshaw away? Bradshaw, and Brown, Bradshaw's done well to recover, great ball in two, oh that's a chance for Josh Sonny Lambie who wasn't marked. Really good chance, what a first touch this was from Bradshaw as well, I thought he was straight in, done really well, lost his balance, amazing to get back up, he created a really good dangerous. Ahmed, what a beautiful pass, Schofield Lomeni, can he score again? Terrific defending great pass. by Jay Brown. Lines from Ahmed. He's, it's a great block in the end, isn't it? But he's this half turn first. Another quick free kick. He's enjoyed himself today, Kareem Ahmed. That is a beautiful pass. Back in by Upton. Here's Ahmed. Great first touch, but he's been dragging away from goal. But Longman is usually, you know. All first half, he was getting, getting a tackle in there. Lucas Pitt was really strong for Liverpool. Brilliant run this by Lucas Pitt. Bradshaw. Oh, deflected. That'll be a corner. Well taken by Sonny Lambie. Options left and right. Clay Ewing, great energy. Ewing, can he finish this off? Brilliant. Bradshaw can. Tremendous. Liverpool lead again. It's Joe Bradshaw. Bailey Hall with an outstanding stop at the other end. And right up the field, brilliant run by Clay Ewing again, and Bradshaw Nets. This was a, a world-class goal, as you see the the counter-attack here from the front three, it, from start to finish. Again, like you said, great stop from Bailey Hall, originally. But the the way we countered this, it's like watching Liverpool of old, doesn't it? Ahmed initially picks it up in a great forward pass. He just invites his first touch forward. Look at Ewing, the determination to get forward. It's, it's like Andy Robertson, this. Brilliant. The timing of the run was amazing. And in terms of putting it on a plate for a forward, he couldn't miss, could he, Bradshaw? Really good run also from him. He could. Ahmed in the centre. Joe Upton lines up a shot. Not a bad try. Was to save out the goalkeeper there, Upton. And why not? It opened up from there, didn't it? No one came out to press him. Great run again by Bradshaw. Cross comes back out, recycles the ball. No one comes out to press. That's half hard. Nice stop. And Campbell will get his first touch yet. In a bit of space. Well taken, Bailey Hall. Back underway. Whitaker to take the set piece. Went for goal, actually. It'll break here. The light foot. Hanging cross. A gun side coming in. Oh, an unbelievable block there by a combination of Enohoro Marcus and Fernell Gill. Brilliant by Luca Fernell Gill. Bailey Hall hugging him. Bailey Hall initially does an amazing save also. You can see it gets held up at the, the number nines. Unmarked in the box. Gets a completely free header. Look at this for a save. Brilliant reactions that Bailey Hall. And yeah, last ditch blocking it. So they have with that. Could he got a little bit more power on his head? What a ball that is through the line. O'Connor, yeah, O'Connor picking out Ahmed. Who's oh, picked out ball. Bradshaw? Bradshaw? Who scores again? Tremendous goal. Joe Bradshaw again. 
Kareem the Dream Ahmed has pulled out Gleesh, calls him with the through ball, but great play there by o Oliver O'Connor. Terrific goal. I mean, talk about playing through the lines there, Steve. This this ball from O'Connor. That's exactly where you want Ahmed to pick up them balls. Uh, initially started off with a couple of chances there for our centre halves. The goalkeepers tried playing fast. We've got the ball back from our centre half. I think we've won it initially first. O'Connor's got on the ball. First thought is forward. He's broke two lines with this pass. Yeah, look at the pass there. One, two. Ahmed. Tremendous, yeah, isn't and it? And it's a, a world class ball again from Ahmed. How many times this game has he picked up in them positions? Bradshaw, that run across the defender. He's deserved them two goals today, hasn't he? Bradshaw, he's been outstanding. Yeah, he's been outstanding, yeah. His top scorer now for the under 18s, his fifth one over the line here today. Get their first league win of the season. Storming run by Campbell. Good try, too. Most deflective. Yeah, he's got a corner out of that, hasn't he? Just cut, cut inside. So, so, in, so, in, so important to try and get that first win of the season, especially with Manchester City away next weekend, the under-18s. Yeah, they're always tricky games, aren't they, nowadays against City? It's a good try, Just that. Just done enough, Gil, as well. Yeah. So Sunderland have a corner. And a header! Wow, that was close. From the corner kick. That could easily have been 3 2. Yeah, he's got across his man the five, hasn't he? Yeah. He's picked up by a marker there, but he's just got the Liam first Hunt. touch. Free now Sunderland drive forward here with Bowman, the substitute. I get a curler away, but it's off target in the end said that a lot about Sunderland today haven't we a lot of shots over the bar yeah, Whitaker has had a couple of efforts towards goal the physicality of, of that age when you when you're growing is is massive uh, yeah a gun side well he's turned and scored and again Sunderland right in the last minute of the game and it's a commentator's curse again. We said we've kept him quiet. And yeah, out of nothing, he's just turned from that quickly taken free kick here on the edge of the penalty area. And he's fired one in to make it 3-2. Some, really some. So tense, the Liverpool players. Whitaker goes for it and misses by a long way. After all that build-up, he got it all wrong. That was high. To the relief of Liverpool. Because he's a good player, this young lad. As O'Connor has lined it up. This might be the last kick of the game here. Can he, Ollie O'Connor finish it in style? Oh, he can! You beauty! Oliver O'Connor, 4-2. And surely now, Martin Kelly, game set and match Liverpool. Amazing free kick, yeah, right under the wall. Well deserved from Liverpool. I think it was definitely a 4-2 scoreline as opposed to 3-2, but the, the Sunderland defenders jump here. He's gone straight under the wall with a great strike. That's like Stevie G used to He's do him sometimes. Hit them low, didn't he? Yeah, the keepers. The one he got against Everton in front of the cop. And the scouts still don't know where all this time has come from. But you can see what it means to the young boys. Their first league win of the season. We're very well deserved. Winning it 4-2. Two goals for Joe Bradshaw. Brilliant free kick by Oliver O'Connor.